11, we have the inspiring story of a South Florida woman who has a new outlook on life, all thanks to a cutting-edge surgery. It's a change roughly 40 years in the making. CBS4 anchor Lauren Pastrana shares her journey. Hello there. Hi. Wow, look at that. It looks fantastic. Catherine Mercer's blue eyes are shining bright now, but that wasn't always the case. The iris is fantastic. Until a couple of weeks ago, a childhood injury had her hiding her left eye. Well, I was playing tennis. I was about 12, um, and I was having fun with my friends, and I was done with my set, and I went and I sat down, and my friends screamed, look out, and I turned to look to see what I was looking out for, and I got nailed right in the eye with a tennis ball. This is what her eye looked like after the injury and several corrective surgeries. It was difficult. I mean, I went through my entire childhood being different. She says she tried every contact lens on the market to try to disguise the damage, but nothing worked until now, thanks to an artificial iris transplant. And it's amazing. If you look at it, it looks natural. Nobody would know. The original technology for doing this is brand new. This is something that has been around really only in the last few years, and it just got FDA approved this past summer. Ophthalmologist Dr. Andrew Schatz performed the artificial iris transplant in his Sunrise office. And he let our CBS4 cameras take a peek inside. She is the first patient in Florida and one of the first in the entire country to get this implant. And she's doing terrific. She loves it. And uh, I think this is going to be the wave of the future for people who've been so stigmatized by this kind of a trauma and people who were born without irises in, in, in addition. So this will be fantastic. Mercer agrees. And she says it's not just her eye that's changed since the procedure. I cannot begin to thank Dr. Schatz and his team for making this a reality because it is life changing. While her eye definitely looks different, Mercer says it feels different, too. She says she can now go out in the sun without squinting or feeling pain. Lauren Pastrana, CBS4 News, tonight.